Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Jaina. Yes, Finn is back. A lot of you guys requested him back as well. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> it's been a while. We were actually hanging. Well, it's not been a while for us because we were hanging out. Uh, what is it? Two weeks ago now. Yeah. For your uh, baptism party, but your daughter wasn't baptized. No, she's not baptized. No, but it was a name giving, name -giving party. party. Yeah. Yes. So uh, yeah, her so. name is Luna. Yes, you, probably, you might have seen her in videos. <laughs> Maybe she's in one video on a live stream. Yeah. So, but we're we're just hanging out today, reviewing some beers, and we're checking out quite a few IPAs. I had a lot of IPAs to try, but we we're also trying some Barty wine. Peter loves Barty wine, so that'll be fun. But first, we're starting off with some Norwegian IPA that I got sent from Luang in Norway. Peter's met Luang as well. Yeah. Uh, are we pronouncing the name right? Because I think it's it, Long. Long was it Long? It's probably right. Yeah, yeah, because we got a crash course at NBCC in how to say it. And, but he sent beer before, and he was kind of sent a package of some of his favorite Norwegian beers at the moment. Some from Salikat, which is amazingly popular, and Monkey Brew, which he thinks is really go good, and it's local to him, and he thinks it's definitely on level with Salikat. But we're starting with Salikat first. This is his favorite beer from Salikat. This is Humle uh, So the hop cheek. Is it called cheek in English? I don't know. Probably. I think yeah. so. And this is what they call a milkshake IPA. Okay. Meaning it's an IPA made with lactose. Uh, it's I guess it's like a session IPA as well, because it's only 4.7%, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So not super strong. And it's topped with citra hops. So it says it's a milkshake pale ale, even though it says IPA on here as well. Or does it say IPA anywhere? No. They say a milkshake pale ale, so I guess it's a pale ale. It's not an IPA. Good to know. And yeah, topped with citra and then made with the milk sugar to give sweetness and a, a bigger mouthfeel. So yeah, this will be fun to try. I love citra hops. Uh, and it's nice that it's sessionable in terms of alcohol. So we'll see how it is. But be before we actually look at the color, you can, the, the room is filled with the uh, yeah, yeah. tropical smelling fruits. I'm just so. going to borrow your phone just for a sec yeah. here if you can, because then we can find out if it is a pale ale or an IPA. Yeah. You can, um, maybe you Google it. Salikat. We'll cut this out. So yeah, it is a pale ale. We just I just thought it was an IPA. I don't know why it's such an IPA, but it's a pale ale. Milkshake like pale ale. So milkshake like IPA. A little lower strength, but it smells really nice. And you said it was filling the room. Yeah, totally with the uh, uh, tropical fruits. Yeah, but the can is also really fresh. It got here super fast. He sent it, yeah, within, I think it was like four days ago or so. And the package, like he sent it Friday last week and it arrived like Tuesday or yeah. Wednesday. So it was really fast. Um, and it was canned on the 29th, so it's like three weeks old, so really, really fresh, which is awesome. So yeah, we got it poured. And it looks like a milkshake kind of IPA or pale ale. Whoops, I'm spilling beer. Uh, hazy. Hazy, a little bit milky in the color, yeah. Yeah, um, very bright yellow. Yeah. And then a nice white head, not too much head, but definitely some. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, let's check out the aroma. Yeah, it smells really nice. <laughs> it's very pineapple y. I think. Yeah, and, and also um, uh, like mandarin cyst or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's got some cystiness. They say themselves uh, it's made with the freshest citra hops they could get, but they don't talk about flavors. But I'm getting lots of pineapple. Mm. The glasses are maybe a bit too full, actually. They're say it's hard to swirl and get some aromas, but I just dunked the entire can in because I felt like a beer mm. after work. But. Well, it's, uh, it's like a uh, mango and um, what's it called? Um, Grenade able. Pomegranates. Yeah, a little bit. Mm, interesting, yeah. I can get actually kind of follow you on that. There is a, like a a ready, a red fruit kind of nuance. Yeah. And I don't know about the lactose, but it smells like this is like going to be a perfect session beer. Mm. But yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Right. Thanks a ton. Long. 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 Yeah. Cheers, man. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, you could drink so much of this. It's very nice. It's really juicy mm. and sweet. <laughs> the lactose really plays in with, like, it really amplifies the juiciness, I think. Mm. I, but I don't think it's too sweet. It has like a drying hot finish. Yeah, kind of dry, not, not sour, well, kind of not bitter either. Mm, tangy, well, maybe. Yeah. Mm. 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 For me, the pineapple really stands out. Um, it's very bright and singing, but there's like, as you said, like the cystiness. Yeah, I think it sends out a little bit more actually. 
Yeah. Mm. And actually, I just realized he sent me a message with info on all the beers. <laughs> and I, we should have, I just looked at that before calling this a session IPA since it's a pale ale. Lots of flavor as well. Again, for a pale ale, this is really packed to the brim with flavor. Uh, there is definitely, besides pineapple, it's like overripe kind of tropical fruit vibes, I think. Mm. And I don't think the lactose is too much. Because sometimes these milkshake IPAs, the lactose gets, it gets really sweet. Yeah. We're going to have a milkshake double IPA today as well, so... Well, it's pretty well balanced. Mm. And it's not to the sweet side, if you ask me. Mm. And there's no hot burn. It's not like, you know, peppery or green, really. No. It's just like, it's really well balanced. Not like crazy thick, but definitely velvety and quite creamy for only 4.7%. Mm. Well, to be honest, I would actually maybe like it a little less thick, to be honest. Mm. Um, to make it a little bit more sessionable. Yeah, I think that's just like the idea with milkshake IPAs are big, bold, creamy mm. flavors or pale ales. Usually I don't go for the lactose IPAs, but I think this is actually a very good one. Mm. Also because it doesn't go too sweet. But that might also be, you know, it's only 4.7%. It's already dry. And then, you know, since it's not a double IPA, they don't add a boatload of lactose. Mm. It's probably just a smaller amount. But yeah, this mm. is very nice. They say, so yeah, it emulates the... Uh, fullness and flavor and sweetness of milkshake. I don't know about like it, it doesn't really taste like a milkshake per se It tastes like a very nice hazy hoppy beer with lactose. Yeah. Yeah, kind of Well, kind of mm. like getting like a fruit shake or something mm. um, But a little more creamy. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice and really sessionable. Citra really stands out with this Because citra can go different ways. This really stands out with a mix of it's sort of like tropical fruit and sweet citrus there's even some stone fruit to me as well, actually, like peach mm. or something mm. like that. But it's got some nice brightness, which I like. Like, again, the tart kind of tropical vibes, which is very good. So, yeah, I think it's very good. I like this more than both of the other releases I've had, the double IPA and the... Oh, it was a um, super fruited mango kettle sour. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I gave that, like, a 92 and a 90, and I'm going like, 93 on this. I think this is really good uh, milkshake pale ale. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm about the same. It's... Um Really good and easy to drink. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's uh, the perfect beer for the weather we had for uh, the past few days. Yeah. Uh, we could have had a little bit nicer weather today. But it's still hot. It's still very hot. And this is something that will uh, go right down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm drinking it rather fast, so. Yeah, it's very nice. Really fun to try the others. Um, uh, he sent as well the double IP of Mon Monkey Brew and some barrel aged stouts. But yeah, uh, this is very nice. So thanks a ton to Long. For the beers, this is really nice to try some Saudi Cat again. Again, these are quite hype in Norway, so if you can get them and you're in Norway, you should get some. This would be a nice beer to just have in the fridge and drink. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, I'd say if you're into hoppy beer, this is worth training for. So, if you guys had a chance to try the Saudi Cat Homeless Shike, let us know what you thought of it. As always, please comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.